Hello everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Today I'm going to explain you every operator's weapon, gadget and device. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Rainbow Six Siege content. But for now, let's get right into the video. Sledge comes with either the M590A1 or the L85A2 as a primary and the P226 MK25 as a secondary. For gadgets, Sledge is either equipped with two frag grenades or three stun grenades. And his device called Tactical Breaching Hammer allows you to breach through destructible surfaces. As Thatcher, you can either use the AR-33, the L85A2 or the M590A1 as your primary weapons and the P226 MK25 as your secondary. Thatcher's gadgets are either one claymore or three breach charges. And his device, EMP Grenade, will give you three EMP grenades that will disable any electronics at range. Smoke is equipped with either the FMG9 or the M590A1, and the P226 MK25 or the SMG11 as a secondary. He is using either one deployable shield or two barbed wires as his gadget. And Smoke comes with three remote gas grenades as a device, which set remote detonated gas charges. For Mute's primary weapons, you can either choose between the MP5K or the M590A1, and as a secondary between the P226 MK25 and the SMG11. His gadgets are either one nitro cell or one bulletproof camera. And his device Signal Disruptor will provide you with four signal disruptors. It lets electronic gadgets in range malfunction. As Ash, you are able to use the G36C or the R4C as primary and the M45 or the 5.7 USG as a secondary. Her gadgets are either three breach charges or one claymore. Ash comes with two breaching rounds. After firing an explosive breach round, it will burrow into the surface and detonate automatically. Thermite's primary is either the M1014 or the 556XI and the M45 or the 5.7 USG as his secondary. His gadgets are either three stun grenades or two smoke grenades. And his device, Exothermic Charge, allows you to set an exothermic charge that destroys reinforced walls. For Castle's primary weapons, you can decide between the UMP45 and the M1014, and for a secondary between the 5.7 USG and the Super Shorty. Castle's gadgets are either one bulletproof camera or two proximity alarms. And he comes with three armor panels, which will let you set bulletproof barricades that are more resistant than the standard ones. Pulse comes with either the M1014 or the UMP45 as primary, and the M45 or the 5.7 USG as secondary. His gadgets are either two barbed wires or one nitro cell. And his device called Heartbeat Sensor detects heartbeats at a short distance through obstacles. As Twitch, you are able to use the F2, the 417 or the SJ CQB as primary and the P9 or the LFP586 as secondary. Her gadgets are either two smoke grenades or one claymore. And her device Shock Drone allows you to use a drone that manually fires lasers to destroy devices of opponents. And is also able to shock and deal damage to opponents. Montania's primary is an extendable shield and his secondary is either the P9 or the LFP586. Montania's gadgets are either one hard bridge charge or two smoke grenades. And his device called Extendable Shield lets you expand his shield to offer full protection while standing. As Doc, you are able to use the SGCQB, the MP5 or the P90 as a primary weapon and the P9 or the LFP586 as his secondary. His gadgets are either two barbed wires or one bulletproof camera. Doc comes with his device called Stim Pistol. This pistol fires a hypodermic shot to revive himself or teammates from a distance. It can also provide a temporary boost. Rook's primary is either a P90, a MP5 or a SG CQB and his secondary a LFP586 or a P9. 
His gadgets are either two proximity alarms or two impact grenades. Rook's device armor pack drops a supply bag full of armor plates for your team to use. Glass comes with the OTS-03 as his primary and the PMM or the GON-6 for his secondary. He is equipped with either two smoke grenades or two frag grenades. And his device called Flipside toggles a magnification scope with sophisticated image sensors outlining long range marks even through smoke. As fuels, you can either use the ballistic shield, the 6P41 or the AK-12. And for your secondary, the PMM or the GSH-18. And his gadgets are either three breach charges or one hard breach charge. His device cluster charge allows you to deploy a charge on soft or reinforced surfaces to clear operators and devices on the other side. Capcan comes with the 9x19 VSM or the SASG-12 as primary and the PMM or the GSH-18 for your secondary. His gadgets are either two impact grenades or one nitro cell. Capcan's device is called Entry Denial Device and lets you set booby traps on windows and door frames. Tachanka's primary weapon is either the DP27 or the 9x19 VSN and its secondary the GSH18 or the PMM. Tachanka's gadgets are either two barbed wires or one deployable shield. And his device, Shumika Launcher, allows you to fire heavy incendiary grenades with a time fuse activated on the first bounce. As splits, your primary weapon is the G52 Tactical Shield and your secondary the P12. His gadgets are either two smoke grenades or three breach charges. And when using his device Flash Shield, it triggers the flash attached to his ballistic shield to temporarily blind enemies. IQ comes with either the AUG A2 the 552 Commando or the G8A1 and the P12 for her secondary. Her gadgets are either three breach charges or one claymore. And her device called Electronics Detector allows you to locate any electronics in range through obstacles such as walls. Jaeger's primary is either the M870 or the 416C Carbine. His secondary is the P12. His gadgets are either one bulletproof camera or two barbed wires. Jaeger comes with three active defense systems. Use it to intercept grenades before they detonate. As Bandit, you will be able to use the MP7 or the M870 as your primary and the P12 for your secondary weapon. His gadgets are either two barbed wires or one nitro cell. Bandit's device Shockwire lets you set up a crude electrical device that electrifies other gadgets and damages anything that comes within contact. Buck comes with his primary the C8 SFW or the Cam RS and his secondary the MK1 9mm. His gadgets are either three stun grenades or one hard breach charge. His device called Skeleton Key will provide you with an underbarrel shotgun attachment on your main weapon. Frost's primary is either the Super 90 or the 9mm C1 and her secondary the MK1 9mm or the ITA-12S. Her gadgets are either one bulletproof camera or one deployable shield. And her device Welcome Mat is a mechanical trap that incapacitates enemies. Blackbeard's weapons are the MK-17 CQB or the SR-25 and his secondary the D-50. His gadgets are either three breach charges or three stun grenades. Blackbeard's device Rifle Shield deploys a ballistic shield on your rifle that can be swapped if the first one gets damaged. Valkyrie's primary weapon is either the MPX or the Sparse 12 and D-50 as her secondary. Her gadgets are either two impact grenades or one nitro cell. And her device called Black Eye lets you set up Black Eye cameras and the camera feed is accessible by the whole team. Capitao comes with the Para 308 or the M249 as his primary and the PRB 92 for his secondary. His gadgets are either one Claymore or one Hard Breach Charge. And his device Tactical Crossbow allows you to fire incendiary bolts and micro smoke grenades. As Kavira, you are able to choose between the M12 and the Sparse 15 for a primary 
and Illusion as her secondary. Her gadgets are either two impact grenades or two proximity alarms. And her device called Silent Step allows you to sneak on your target and swiftly immobilize them and force them to reveal the position of the opposing team. Ibana's primary is either the Type 89 or the Supernova. And for a secondary you can choose between the P229 and the Bearing 9. Her gadgets are either free stun grenades or free breach charges. And Ibana's device X Kairos is a 40mm grenade launcher that fires explosive pellets that can be detonated from a distance. Echo's primary weapons are the Supernova or the MP5SD and for a secondary weapon the P229 or the Bearing 9. His gadgets are two impact grenades and one deployable shield. Echo comes with Yokai, a hovering drone that releases disorienting sonic bursts. Yokai also transmit a video feed to you. Jackal comes with either the C7E, the PW9 or the ITA-12L. And for a secondary either the ITA-12S or the USP-40. His gadgets are either one claymore or two smoke grenades. And his device Inox Model 3 locates targets by revealing and identifying recent footsteps. Myra's primary weapons are the Vector 45 ACP or the ITA 12L. And for a secondary, the ITE 12S or the USP 40. Her gadgets are either two proximity alarms or one nitro cell. Myra's device called Black Mirror allows you to deploy a one-way bulletproof mirror on breakable and reinforced walls. It can also be ejected to create a murder hole. Ying comes with either the T95 LSW or the 612 as a primary and the Q929 as her secondary. Her gadgets are either one heartbeat charge or two smoke grenades. And her device Candela provides you with a cluster of flash charges that can either be anchored on surfaces or rolled out as a grenade. Legion's loadout contains the 612 SD or the T5 SMG and the Q929 as a secondary. His gadgets are either two impact grenades or one bulletproof camera. Legion comes with his device AGU Cloak toxic mines that inject a compound, injuring opponents and limiting their speed. Sophia's primary weapon is either the LMGE or the M762 and her secondary the RG15. Her gadgets are either free breach charges or one claymore. And her device KS79 lifeline is a double barrel launcher that can fire both concussion and impact grenades. Ella comes with the Scorpion EVO 3A1 or the FO-12 as her primary and the RG-15 as her secondary. Her gadgets are either two barbed wires or one deployable shield. And her device called Grismod Mine is a concussion proximity mine that can be anchored on surfaces. It impairs hearing and causes a dizzying effect. As to Cabby, you can choose between the MK-14 EBR or the Boss G-12.2. And for a secondary between the GON-6 and the SMG-12. Her gadgets are either two smoke grenades or three stun grenades. Dokabi's device Logic Bomb uploads a virus that forces enemy phones to emit a low buzz that can be overheard, thereby potentially compromising an enemy's position. Vigil comes with either the K1A or the Boss G-12.2. And for a secondary with either the C-75 Auto or the SMG-12. His gadgets are either one bulletproof camera or two impact grenades. His device ERC-7 allows a Vigil to scan surrounding devices to wipe his image from cameras and drones. Lion's primary weapon is either the V-308, the 417 or the SG-CQB. And as a secondary the GON-6 or the LFP-586. Lion's gadgets are either three stun grenades or one claymore. And his device called EE1D detects enemy movement, tagging their position during the scan. Thinker comes with either the Spear 308, the 6P41 or the SASG12 as her primary and the PMM or the GON6 as her secondary. Her gadgets are either two frag grenades or three stun grenades. And her device Adrenal Surge allows you to activate nanobots to give teammates an HP boost and revive knocked allies. As Maestro you can choose between the ALDA-556 or the ACS-12 and between the Bailiff-410 or the Karatos-5. 
357 as a secondary. His gadgets are either two barbed wires or two impact grenades. Maestro's device Evil Eye gives you a remote controlled bulletproof camera armed with a high energy laser. Alibi's loadout contains the MX4 Storm or the ACS-12 for a primary and the Karatos 357 or the Bailiff 410 for her secondary. Her gadgets are either two impact grenades or one deployable shield. And her device called Prisma deploys holograms of Alibi and tags enemies when they fire upon her holograms. Maverick comes with either the AR-15.50 or the M4 and as a secondary with the 1911 Tech Ops. His gadgets are either one claymore or two frag grenades. And his device Breaching Torch is a blowtorch capable of burning holes through reinforced walls at an almost inaudible level. Clash's primary weapon is the CCE shield and her secondary either the Super Shorty or the SP SMG9. Her gadgets are either two impact grenades or two barbed wires. The CCE shield is an extendable electro shield capable of slowing down enemies, causing damage over time. Nomad comes with either the AK-47M or the ARX-200 as her primary weapon and the 44 Max semi-auto or the PRB-92 as her secondary. Her gadgets are three breach chargers and three stun grenades. Her device Air Jab Launcher is a rifle attachment that allows Nomad to shoot an adhesive repulsion device that detonates by proximity. Kate's primary weapon is either the AUG A3 or the TCSG12 and for a secondary either the 44 Max Semi-Auto or the LFP586. His gadgets are either two barbed wires or one nitro cell. Kate's device Artilla, Electroclaw electrifies reinforced walls, hatches, barbed wire and deployable shields in its affected area. Gridlock's loadout contains the F90 or the M249 saw as her primary and the Super Shorty or the Gaunt 6 as her secondary. Her gadgets are either two smoke grenades or three breach charges. Her device called Track Stingers is a thrown gadget that deploys barbed mats capable of slowing down and hurting enemies who traverse them. Mossy's primary weapon is either the Commando 9 or the P90 Roni and the STP 9mm as a secondary. His gadgets are either two barbed wires or one nitro cell. And his device Pest Launcher launches autonomous bots that latch onto nearby enemy drones, hijacking their controls. Nock comes with the FMG9 or the 612 SD as a primary and the 5.7 USG or the D50 as a secondary. Her gadgets are either two frag grenades or one hard breach charge. Nox device called Hell Presence Reduction is a counter intel that wipes Nox images from observation tools and reduces her noise. As Warden you can choose between the M590A1 or the MPX and between the P10C or the SMG12 as a secondary. His gadgets are either one nitro cell or one deployable shield. And his device Glenn Smart Glasses are glasses that improve visibility in smoke while standing still. It can also be activated to protect against or reduce flash blindness. Amaru's loadout contains either the 68A1 or the Supernova and for a secondary either the GON-6 or the SMG-11. Her gadgets are either one hard breach charge or three stun grenades. And her device Gara hook is a high tensible grappling hook used for fast access to rebel points, hatches or to enter through exterior windows at limited distances. Goyo comes with the Vector 45 ACP or the TCSG-12 and the P229 as a secondary. His gadgets are either one nitro cell or two proximity alarms. Goyo's device Vulcan Shield is a incendiary bomb attached to an deployable shield that explodes when destroyed. Kali comes with her primary weapon the CSRX300 and her secondary either the C75 Auto or the SP SMG9. Her gadgets are either three breach charges or one claymore. And her device LV Explosive Lance is a underbarrel mechanical projectile that explodes within a set radius to destroy gadgets on both sides of breakable and reinforced surfaces. As for my, you can choose between the AUG A2 or the MP5K as its primary and between the Karatos 357 or the P12 as his secondary. His gadgets are either two proximity alarms or two impact grenades. 
The MICE device magnet system is a throwable device that sticks to a surface and captures incoming projectiles, detonating them and self-destructs afterwards. Yana's loadout contains either the ARX200 or the G36C and the MK1 9mm or the GAUN6 as her secondary. Her gadgets are either two frag grenades or two smoke grenades. And her device Gemini Replicator allows you to deploy a remote controlled holographic copy of Iana to fool enemies and gather intel. Oryx's primary weapon is either the T5 SMG or the Spars 12 and the secondary either the Bailiff 410 or the USB 40. His gadgets are either two barbed wires or two proximity alarms. Oryx comes with his device Rima Dash. Rima Dash allows Oryx to perform a fast dash that allows for faster roaming, reaching breakable walls and pushing back opponents. Ace comes with the AK-12 or the M1014 as his primary and the P9 as a secondary. His gadgets are either three breach charges or one claymore. Ace is able to use the Selma Aqua Breacher. After being thrown, it deploys hydraulic pressure pallets to breach breakable and reinforced surfaces. Melusi's loadout contains the MP5 or the Super 90 as her primary and the RG15 as her secondary. Her gadgets are either two impact grenades or one bulletproof camera. Melusi comes with a device called Banshee Sonic Defense. It is a deployable device with a bulletproof shell and a exposed center that emits sound to slow down opponents in range. Zero's primary weapon is either the SC-3000K or the MP7, and his secondary either the 5.7 USG or the GAN-6. His gadgets are either one Claymore or two Heartbridge charges. And his device Argus Launcher deploys a camera which can pierce through breakable and reinforced surfaces to surveil either side and shoot a laser. A Rooney comes with the P10 Roni or the MK14 EBR as a primary weapon, and the PRB-92 as her secondary weapon. Her gadgets are either two barbed wires or one bulletproof camera. Aruni's gadget called Surya Laser Gate is a reactivatable laser generating device set on walls or entry points that deactivates after damaging gadgets or opponents. Floor's loadout contains the AR-33 or the SR-25 as its primary and the GSH-18 as his secondary. His gadgets are either three stun grenades or one claymore. And his device, RCE Red Terror Charge, allows Flores to use a remote controlled charge that anchors to a surface, becomes bulletproof, then detonates after a set time period. As Thunderbird, you can choose between the Spear 308 and the Spars 15 as her primary, and between the Q929 or the B-Ring as her secondary. Her gadgets are either two impact grenades or one nitro cell. Thunderbird's device Kona Station is a deployable device that gives an HP boost or offers a revive to a downed operator in proximity. Osa's primary weapon is the 556XI or the PW9 and the PMM as Osa's secondary. Osa's gadgets are either two smoke grenades or one claymore. And Osa's device called Talon 8 Shield allows Osa to use a transparent bulletproof shield that can be carried or deployed on floors and window frames. 